It would seem that Xbox is making a brand new RPG game with a very talented third-party developer. This is coming straight from very reliable insiders that know exactly what Xbox is up to. Let's get into the game and what we can expect from these developers because it's pretty big and I'm excited for it. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you enjoy the content. And also hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when a video drops. But enough of those shameless plugs. Let's get right into this huge news when it comes to Xbox and making a brand new AAA RPG game outside of their first party studios. And the studio that Xbox seems to be working with is a studio that has been a part of Xbox rumors for what seems like over a year and a half, which is IO Interactive. And if you don't know who they are, they're this massive AAA studio that has made the last couple Hitman games. And from the looks of things, it would seem they're moving away from Hitman and will be concentrating on a brand new RPG game for Xbox. Here's what the article has to say and what we should expect from the games, plus a little minor details. Hitman developer reportedly developing fantasy IP for Xbox. IO Interactive developer of Hitman has begun working on a new fantasy IP for Xbox, which features dragons. That's according to a report by Windows Central, which states this is one of the several projects Microsoft is working on with external developers to be released under the Xbox Game Studio publishing banner. Okay, so let's stop right there. First of all, we talked about the multiple AAA games that Xbox is working on within their first party studios. Those have been talked about extensively and there's even a few games we've heard about that haven't been announced yet. But for this game, it's something that Windows Central, Jez Gordon, and Miles Dompierre have talked about or hinted at before. And I talked about these games in a video a few weeks ago. And now it would seem one of those games is this IO Interactive game that is going to be a fantasy-focused game with dragons. And we all know that Xbox Game Studios are making a lot of AAA games. But the one aspect I always wanted more details on was the second or third party games that Xbox Publishing was working on. We've heard Phil Spencer talk about second party deals that we have no idea about, or other developers they have deals with that will take a little while for them to announce. And this isn't just some rumor that's making the rounds, instead it's actually something that's almost confirmed by multiple sources. Here's what the article continues to say. Eurogamer sources have also heard word of this new project within IO Interactive, which is described as being AAA in scope, though still very early in development and years away. It's currently planned to feature a large medieval-esque world and yes, winged beasts of the dragon variety. As you can see right here, it isn't just Windows Central reporting this huge rumor, it's also Eurogamer and a bunch of other sources around the gaming media which kind of makes this game almost a lock to happen and also shows that Xbox is trying to work with as many developers as possible. As for the scope of the game, it's obviously a AAA game because that's what IO Interactive is. They're a huge AAA studio with a lot of talent attached to them. This also explains all those rumors about Xbox buying IO Interactive and how that's going to happen in the next couple of years. Instead, it might be that Xbox enjoys their games and just wants them to make a huge AAA RPG for them because they have a great relationship with IO Interactive. But now let's talk about the game and the details that are out there. It's a huge game that is going to be a medieval-esque, which is awesome, and truthfully something that Xbox needs in their library of exclusives. But the most intriguing part is the fact that this game is going to have dragons, which is always a plus in my book especially when you look at some of the biggest games ever made that have dragons. Skyrim, of course, comes to the mind first. After that, you got to think of Dragon Age Inquisition. And then for me, you have to think God of War because they have some of the most epic dragon boss fights ever. But now let's go into who is IO Interactive and what is going on with them internally and what we could expect. Here's what the article talks about. IO Interactive has just finished work on Hitman 3, the third game in its successful World of Assassination trilogy, and has already announced it will work next on Project 007, a James Bond game. There are hopes this Bond game will also spawn a trilogy, and an expectation IO will double in size to 400 staff by the time of this release. Okay, so 400 developers on one studio is a massive amount of people. I believe that the amount of people that made all of God of War was about 200 developers. The amount that made Gears of War 5 was also around 200 plus developers. So as you can see, IO Interactive can make this James Bond game along with making other AAA games, which is something that the IO Interactive boss mentions right here in the article. 
But IO Interactive has also been open about the fact that it has a third IP in development, which IO boss Hakan Abrak first spoke of early this month during the recent GI Live online keynote speech. Without going into too much detail, we have a third universe that we're working actively on, which is a bit different and absolutely a love child, Abrak said. It is something our core people, our veteran staff, have been dreaming about for some time. So you can see right here, this potential Xbox game could be something that IO Interactive has been wanting to make for a very long time now. And after seeing what the Hitman series did from a quality standpoint, Xbox decided to invest a bunch of money into this game so they can make the game they want which is something we've seen day in and day out when it comes to Xbox development. They allow the creative people in the studio to make the games they want to make. And if this is a game that a lot of the veterans around in IO wanted to make, you can bet your bottom dollar they're going to take their time on this to make it into something special. Because every single studio wants one thing, a massive franchise they can hang their hats on. Which from the sounds of what this RPG could be, this just might be it for them. But it's also a game I think they'll need more developers to make, which is something the article mentions again right here. As revealed by Eurogamer's sister site GamingIndustry.biz, IO has also announced it will open a third studio location in Barcelona to help grow the company further and work on its own projects, while also helping to publish others. This is something that's in motion, and it's very likely that IO will be publishing not only our own games, but other people's games in the future as well, Abra concluded. It was just a handful of years ago where this was unthinkable, where it was more just a few big publishers. Things are changing. That still works, I think. The big publishers have a role to play going forward. I'll be open and say it's very likely IO will have one of our games published by someone else. That's very possible. And this to me is the most telling part about the interview that Abrak had. He talks about the fact that they do have games in development from other publishers and that they could work with some of the biggest publishers in the gaming world. That to me goes directly to Microsoft and Xbox plus Sony and you think about EA and Activision. But from all of the rumors we've had the last year or so between IO Interactive and Xbox, I would lean toward Xbox more, especially since it's been known for a very long time that Xbox is investing a lot of money and I mean a lot of money in gaming. We've heard the rumors of them talking to pretty much every single developer in the gaming world. They want to provide as many AAA game experiences on Xbox Game Pass, and the only way to do that is put money into the platform. Grab developers to make a game for you. Because while Xbox has 23 studios with over 30 teams working on games, it's still not enough for them to do exactly what they want, which is provide a massive game on the Xbox Game Pass service every single month to keep people subscribed. We see them buying up third-party games to go day and date on the platform. We see them strike deals with smaller AAA developers on games. It was only a matter of time before we heard about AAA developers getting locked down by Xbox to make huge games. And IO Interactive seems to be like the perfect independent studio to go since they make high quality games. Let's just hope this continues because we have other game rumors coming down the grapevine when it comes to Xbox. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about a huge Xbox game from the Star Wars universe that's apparently in development. So stay tuned for that also. But for now, let me see what you think about all of this. Do you think IO Interactive is making a huge RPG for Xbox? What do you want to see from this game? When do you think we'll get an announcement for the new game? Does the prospect of dragons excite you in an exclusive Xbox game? Will this be a first person or third person game to you? Did you enjoy the Hitman series? Will Sony try to lock down more developers as Xbox has been? Or is Xbox just overwhelming the market? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. So right now, I'm going to be jumping into Returnal. I bought it. I pre-ordered it. Don't care. I'm downloading it right now on the PS5 and I'm probably going to be playing it for for the rest of the week. I didn't get to jump into it right when it released on Friday. I was kind of busy and not really at home, so I didn't get to jump into that. But I'm looking forward to getting in there and playing the game because I love a challenge. I hear it's pretty hard, but I hope they patch all the crashes that's been happening that I've seen online.
online. Outside of that, I've been playing Outriders because I love that game. It's so much fun to play with your friends and just kind of gear up and go into the expeditions and get even better guns, gear, and mods and all that cool stuff. Plus, I love the time aspect of it. I want to get these done in such a great time that I get the best loot in them. So there's a lot of challenge and competition in there, and me and my buddies always want to get the best time because, hey, we want the best loot. But let me know what you're playing. Are you playing Returnal that just released? Are you playing that Extinction game that just dropped on Game Pass? Let me know down below because I want to know what everybody's playing, and that's what we're here for, to discuss games. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later!